Last week, the Possumit team released a free Figma UI kit that's perfect for WordPress. And I'm a fan of UI kits because I use them a lot in my web design workflows. I've bought in tons of them, subscribed to things like UI8, Envato Elements, and well, whenever I see a free UI kit, I always jump on it, but I've never seen a free kit this robust and packed with so much good stuff in it. I actually haven't ever paid for a UI kit that had so much good stuff in it. That's the reason why I wanted to make this video to share it with all of you because this is a gold mine of a web design resource. Let's check it out. To get started, I left a link inside the description. This will take you to where you could get this free kit. You're gonna just open it up in Figma and when you open it up, if you have a Figma account and all that's set up, it's going to open up inside of your app. I'm going to skip that part because it is a really big file and it takes some time for it to load. But when you see what's in this, you'll understand why. So first off, we're going to have this cover. And the thing that stood out to me when I saw this cover is that this isn't just screenshots here. There's a lot of details in here. These are all elements built inside of Figma. This right here impressed me from the very jump start. Next up, we got a welcome that tells more about what is coming up, the benefits and so on. But we're gonna keep moving along. So we got our global styles and they're all organized, which is wonderful. I love it when things are organized. And I'm gonna show you how you could use these in a moment after we take a quick look at everything. But yeah, we'll start off. Here are our color templates. We have all of our buttons built as well. Again, this just speeds along the entire design process. And then we have our typography and it got a lot in here. All right, so the typography is very robust. I wouldn't use all this. In fact, I'll share with you in a moment how I would utilize this typography inside of a project, but it is an awesome start. This is a really good start. Nothing is missed here, so it's gonna really speed along the entire process. Let me open up the side panel because there's a lot inside here. All right, it gives you a set of logos. So we have our Lorem, our logo Ipsum logos to get started. Again, to help speed things along. And we got a really good icon pack. And if we, if we zoom in here, well, we could see that these icons, they're very modern. They're clean. I like them. If I would have seen these in a dedicated icon pack, this is a pack I would have saved because these look really clean and modern. I don't know about you guys, but when I see old outdated icons, it kind of like ruins the design for me. So I'm really glad they put this here and it's organized, you know, like having it organized, you don't really see things organized like this when you do get icon packs. Like I've downloaded a lot of them off of UI8 and it's rare to see them where they are organized like this. What it does is it makes a process of finding the right icon when you need it as you're building something a lot easier and faster. Now, let's move to the pattern library because this is where things start to get really exciting. All right, we got our set of nav bars. This is a good starting point, but I would like to see this grow a bit because I could think of a few uh, headers and mega menus and things like that that I would like to see in here, like the drop downs. Uh, but hopefully we will see things grow and be added because the Possum team that created this did say they're going to continue to add on to it. Now, check out the heroes. Look at this. This is crazy. All right. We have so many heroes right here to choose from and they're actually clean and modern and they're not like crazy built where if you try to build them inside like elemental WordPress bricks, it would be, you know, like a coding nightmare where we'd have to use uh, tons of negative margins or tricks or whatever. These are all built in a way that when I look at it, I could see how these would be built inside of WordPress, regardless of what builder we are using. So we have all these different options right here. And this is dope. Like this right here. As soon as I got to this part of the kit, I, my eyebrows really started to raise because these are like some really clean, modern banners right here. 
I'm going to show you as well coming up soon how we could piece all this together and quickly make a mock-up. But let's let's flow through this because there's still quite a bit more. We have our about sections. Again, it's packed with a whole lot. We have our why choose us or our benefit sections as well. Again, it has a really good number right here. So it's you know, this is a pretty good number of sections. And then we got our services and wow, check that out. That is very robust. There is a lot in there. So we have tons of options, our features, again, tons of options right here. And I hope you guys take time to play with this right here because this is, there's just so much in it. I never see this much usually inside of a UI kit, let alone being a free one. We got our metrics right here. Uh, to be honest, I really don't use metrics all too often, but I do see some sections like, you know, for me, I would take this and I would probably use it as a starting point and maybe change something here. Like I could take this section. It's a pretty good section and I could just change this part right here. So, you know, it gives a lot of good uh, starting points. Let's go to our gallery. We got a lot of different grids, a lot of different galleries. And then we have our portfolio sections again. So one thing i notice as i keep going through it is that everything looks very buildable inside of wordpress elementor bricks uh, other builders even gutenberg without having to do a lot of custom development if any i'm pretty sure i could get away with doing no custom coding to achieve this all right, we got our blog section. Now, there's not too much here. Again, this is probably a section that I would like to see grow inside the future, but it does give a good starting point. There's some decent, there's some actually really nice layouts. Like this is a really good, clean, modern layout right here. We have our pricing tables. Now, the pricing tables, whenever designing, could be a bit of a pain sometimes. So this makes it a lot easier. And, you know, there's some really dope pricing tables out there, but they do take a lot more development work. One thing, again, I noticed with these is that they are designed in a way uh, where they're not going to be too complicated to build. We have our team section. Uh, this is OK. Our testimonials. Now, this is really helpful. This is one of those areas where I'm always looking at a way to do it a bit differently and they give us tons of options right here so this is really good our company logos uh, this is whatever <laughs> all right it's just uh some options it helps to speed things along they're great for trust sections uh contact forms now this is one of those sections that when i am in the design process I'm always trying to figure what direction do I want to go when I'm looking at different sites. And when I pull up and I look at other UI kits, uh, a lot of the times I don't see that many modern options like this right here. This is modern. This is clean. I dig this. I could take it. I could go ahead and expand on it and just add in whatever fields that I need for my form. Then we got our FAQ. There is a good amount. You know, uh, there's not too much we need to do with the FAQ, but it gives you uh, some good layouts, locations, tons of locations. Great for all those local businesses. So, uh, I mean, this I love this style right here. I, I do. I, I like this uh, this container type of style. Um, yeah, these are dope. And OK, here is another another good one right here. The call to actions. So we got all these different options. It helps speed the process along. And, you know, it gives us a lot of good designs. This is really, really dope. Breadcrumbs. Uh, this part right here was, you know, it was okay. Uh, I think there is a, a place for it. Not too common, but there is a place for it. But footers. Now, this is one that I also struggle with at times inside of my designs. Finding the right footer. There's some really dope footers here. We got one with the call to action. And well, this is just going to make everything go a lot easier. You know, I really like what they did with these. I mean, I like this right here. 
So, yeah, okay, our 404s, check this out. So, they got in all the graphics, and if you saw my video last week, I shared how to use UI kits and take the graphics from them and use them inside of our own design. So, they did add in graphics for us to use, which is going to make things work a whole lot faster. Like, I really dig this. I could really see this using. This is pretty dope. I could take this right here. I could export it, and I could use it to for my own website. We got our coming soons. These are pretty dope. These are pretty clean right here. I like these. A lot of good modern styles and under maintenance with a lot more graphics as well. So these are cool. And these are the sections. Now we have our page templates with pages that are already built out. And a lot of the times you might just want to go over here, choose a template and make some tweaks to it, make a few adjustments to the colors, the images, the content, and speed up everything. Look, at we don't have to start at a starting point, like bare, you know, blank starting point every time we design. The whole point of this isn't to copy, but to use it as a quick jump start into our creative process. So we have all these, and in fact, tonight I'm going to be doing a live stream. I'm going to be choosing one of these templates right here and building it into Elementor Live. Uh, so I'm starting to do those on the channel, so make sure to subscribe that way. If you are interested in seeing uh, live design sections where we are taking mock-ups like this, designs in Figma, and replicating them into Elementor bricks. And coming up next is going to be Breakdance. I am starting to use Breakdance more now. But yeah, these are pretty dope. We have all of our pages here. There are tons of them. You can see how much is in here. Now, I wish I could make this video in five or six minutes. I'm like, hey, here is a really dope free ui kit uh let me show you but there's so much here to share that it's really hard to do this in such a quick time so we're just going to speed along we got our blogs then we have our portfolio pages like this is really really good we got our contact pages uh this is really useful right here i always uh it's always a bit of a challenge like okay what are we going to do for the contact page but it's something we could do really quick so this is really dope right here i, I dig this we got our testimonial pages we have our faqs where else okay i'm going to speed along we got our 404 so the 404 page already done uh we got our coming soon and then we have our under maintenance page. All right, so there is a lot to use here. Now, I want to share with you really quickly how I would utilize this. And I would do it in two ways. First off, over here when you download it from the link that I shared, it's going to come out to this. Now, what I would do is I would actually duplicate this. And then I would take it and create one where I'm just going to start deleting stuff, adding stuff, and changing everything. Now, I'm going to treat this as a duplicate right here. I'm going to rename it. Let me just say uh, new project. All right. Now, I could use this and start to change it and turn it into my own design project. I would go here to colors. Now, if you notice here, look at the nav bar. You can see it's using the highlight color. I could go into the globals. I could change the global right here. Go in there and edit it. Let's pick another color. I'm going to make this, let's say, more purple. I'm going to change. I'm going to make this stand out quite a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and hit enter. And now when we go to the rest, it's all going to change. So we could adjust our colors. That would be the first place I go is applying my colors. And then the second place is going to be in the typography. Now, look at this. All right, we have our extra, extra large uh, fonts. We don't really need all of them all the time. Let's say we are only using bold and semi-bold for the extra large. I would just simply delete it. The ones that we're not using. I would go in here and change my font type. 
it comes pre-installed with Jakarta Sands, but let's say that's not what we want to use. Uh, I would use, let's just say Helvetica. Let's go old school. All right, I'm going to actually use Helvetica now. And then we could change this across the board through all of the fonts that I'm going to use. All right, again, I'm going to change this to Helvetica now. And then I would adjust the font size, the letter spacing, like it's at minus two, I take it to a zero. It all depends on the font. And I would probably spend most of my initial time right here to get it right. Now, when I use fonts for my projects, for my designs, and I'm creating my typography guide, I don't use that many. I use very few. Like right here, I probably, again, I would not use regular. Let's say I'm not using it for this one. And then I would just go through, remove anything that I do not see myself using, you know, like text medium. I'm only going to probably use regular, uh, medium, and light. So I would just delete all of the ones that I am not using. And then after I delete them and I have my exact fonts, you know, the font styles that I want, I would just go in, edit them, add myself. It's a bit more tedious. If there is a faster way of doing it, let me know inside the comments because when it comes to Figma, this is one of those things where we just keep learning and they keep adding more to it. All right, so the next step that I would do, I would first try to play, okay, I'm going to create a new page and this is going to, I'm just going to call this experiment or let's just call this fun. I'm just going to have some, a design fun here. Let me move this over here. And now I can start to use patterns. So inside this new page that I created, I'm going to hit A. And then I am going to my desktop and I'll go ahead and just select on desktop. Let's go ahead and make this a lot bigger. I'm going to expand this out. And now what I am going to do is I am going to start to take the patterns and build out my layout. I'm going to choose which header that I like. I'm just going to take this one here. I'm going to copy it, go back over to fun and paste it. Okay. We need to push it to the top. Next up, let's go over to hero. Now I'm going to choose a hero that I like. Let me see. I'm going to go through and see what stands out and really looks dope. That I really dig. Okay. Uh, you know what? This one looks okay. Let me copy this. I'm going to go back over here and we could paste it here now. And I'm going to put it right over here underneath my header. All right. I'm going to change the background. That way it's easier to see all this. There we go. I like dark backgrounds. All right. And then I'm going to go through and I will take a look at my wireframe. What's next up on my wireframe? It probably would be something for trust. So let me see here. I might go take a, a logo row. So that would be cool. Let me just take something simple right here. I'm going to go back over to my file and paste it. All right, there we go. Let me center this up. All right, it's looking pretty good so far. Now, next up, uh, let me see. I'm going to go with the Why Choose Us. All right, I want to have something. Uh, and this is where we start to play with things. Let me try this and see what it looks like. All right, I could paste it and let's move it over. Let me center that up. Okay, it's that looks pretty dope right here. And one thing too that I really did, I see I check out the quality as well. One thing I looked at was the grids when I jumped into this and everything was very carefully built, you know, which fits with my workflow on here and so on. This is how we would proceed. We will find and start to add more to this. You know, you just start to take the patterns and literally just start to pace them around, play with them, try them out. And you can see how much quicker your design flow works using this right here. This is one method of using a kit like this to build out a design. And the best thing about this is everything I see here 
isn't that difficult to build inside something like Elementor? Uh, so that is what I am looking for inside of a kit. Whenever I'm building a design, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, well, how easy or difficult is this going to be to build? Now, one more thing. Let's go ahead and look at using this in a different, using a different method. And that is to take a pre-built page already. Go through it and look for one that looks right. Let's say, you know what, this one looks dope right here. It does look a little bit challenging. Like this looks a little bit challenging to build. I know I could do it, but you know, it's all up to you and your style. What looks difficult? What looks like, hey, this will be easy and I could go fast. Go with what you like. So let me say I'm going to take this one. All right, I'm going to go back over here to my, my fun page. All right, let me go ahead and paste this. All right, let me uh, move this down. And now the way that I would use this is by just going through, changing your content, changing the images. And if you see a section, like say, okay, I really am not feeling this section. Well, you could go ahead and delete that. You don't need to keep every single section. Maybe you want to, you know, maybe you want to add something else. So you could go over to, let's say features. I want to put some features right there. Instead, I'm going to take this one. I copy it, go back over here. I'm going to paste it on the side because then I could move it in and it'll squeeze right up in between and push them out and it just fits right in. We could also take this and move it around. And this is just a great way that we could use a free tool. Like this is crazy how much is inside here, but we could use it for our creative process and just have fun with this. So I hope you could have fun with this like I did. One more quick thing to add to this video is how each of our patterns, when we are stacking them up like this, well, they are all components and in Figma, we could easily change them around. For example, I could go here to my hero section over here on the right in the components. I could choose my instance and I can select different banners right here. Play around with the design to see what works. And as we are doing this to each one of our sections, it just makes dialing in our design much easier and faster and pretty fun too. I love geeking out on this and just being really creative, creating some really super dope designs. So this is uh, the power of building something like this inside of Figma where it is well organized. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, drop them inside the comments and keep an eye out. I have the UI Kimmy video coming up next where I'm going to be showing how to take a UI kit like this use UI Kimmy, which is a new tool and automatically convert that to Elementor bricks and, and I'm going to see what I could do right now. I'm playing with it. I'm testing it out, getting it ready to share with all of you. So, you know, all that good YouTube stuff, like, and subscribe. I really appreciate your support and thank you for watching. I'll see you inside the next one.